This is what is left of the health center at the Federal Polytechnic Adwekiti, Ekiti State, after some students allegedly burnt down the health center to protest the death of a student. Other school infrastructure was not spared the anger of the rampaging students. The students are reported to have taken these actions after one of their own, Ulua Femi Vincent, a final year student in the Department of Estate Management, died after an illness. Reports say the deceased was rushed to the Polytechnic Health Center for treatment, but his condition became worse and he was transferred to the State University Teaching Hospital, Adwekiti where he allegedly died in the early hours of Saturday, 7th October. The students are reportedly displeased at the level of care the deceased was given at the school health center. The president of a student union government condemns the attack. Sometimes students do complain that they will rush to a center and some they will not attend to them on time. But the basic reason why such happened yesterday because I was not even around. But by the time I got here yesterday, I've met a lot of students here destroying some things. Even though I have to call on, because when I think that uh, me and my executive, we cannot control the situation again, we are trying to stop them that even though if anything happens, it's not for you to take the law into your hands. Even though we are nearly beaten here yesterday, they've even said this place are blazed twice. The rector of the institution denies the allegations raised by the students. The allegations that uh, when they get there, uh, they are not attended to. It is not true because I myself make use of the health centre. I go there many times unannounced, and you know, if there had been lapses, I would have been able to see. Only one student died. That student died not in the health centre, not in the teaching hospital, but in an unknown destination. The boy was brought in to the health centre on Friday morning, seriously ill. He was attended to at the health center. He was admitted because we have admission facilities. Towards evening, it was seen that his condition was deteriorating. And immediately, he was rushed to the UTH, the University Teaching Hospital, accompanied by a nurse. And according to them, they stabilized him. But to so their shock, yesterday morning, somebody who claimed to be the brother came and discharged him forcibly, said he was going to uh, we was going to take care of him. In the aftermath of the violence, the management of the institution has announced the immediate and indefinite closure of the school to forestall further destruction. The school authority has also inaugurated a panel of inquiry to ascertain the course of the protest and extent of the destruction of school property.